Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. Today we are going to be setting up a new facility. Uh, so I have picked up a ton of concrete to do that. And I think it's going to be screw production that I want to set up. But before we do that, in the last episode we went out for a bit of a exploration and on the way back I actually stumbled on couple more um, wrecks so we have five hard drives here and I actually have one that has already been processed so let's go take a look at that and then stick a new one in so caterium wire that might actually be very nice so instead of one copper or three wire, it would be one criteria more for nine wire. That could be very nice. Staters, six pipes and 20 quick wire for three stavers. Might be nice too. Modular frames, six reinforced iron plate and 16 pipe. And the standard is one. Let's see, the standard is three and three reinforced iron plates and six um, iron rods to produce one. Instead, it's six reinforced iron plate and six steel pipe to produce three. So that's pretty good. Standard recipe here is. 3 steel pipe, 10 wire, produce 1, 6 per minute, and this is 9 per minute with 3 steel pipe and 10 regular wire. Okay. This is actually 45 per minute. Standard is, and this is 67.5. Standard is 6 per minute, this one is 9. Standard is 4 per minute, and that one is 6. Hmm. Choices, choices. Hmm. I'm leaning towards the staters. Or maybe the wire. Let's do the wire. And I drive there. Pick that in and get going. All right, put these back in the box. Uh, take 500. All right. So yeah, that's that. Uh, in between episodes, I have also done a little bit of preparation for going a little bit larger. So we now have a thousand megawatts. And that is because over here at our coal power we now have 20 coal generators set up running from the one uh, pure coal node. So 20 of those are going. And I think it looks pretty okay. It's, I'm a bit sad that the last one here, the, uh, that thing, is actually going into the rock, but uh, it is what it is. Other than that, I think it looks pretty nice. Let's take a quick look from the other side. Oh, so, yeah, like that. Okay, so iron rod production. We are going to set up 
over in this area. And it's gonna be a bit of an interesting base. Should we do screws first so that we can do... Yeah, I think we should do screws first so that we can do uh, reinforced plates. The screws are over this way. On the way uh, back, I also found a few things. I found a cave full of bacon and a big uh, green fireball spitter mini. And I think I found a sulfur patch as well. Uh, I didn't want to build over to it to see, but it looked like sulfur to me. But uh, let's see, screws is over this way. And this the screw build is not going to be that super interesting. I have unlocked the uh, alternate recipe for screws. So we're going to use that. And there's the beacon. So let's uh, pick that up. Pick that up. I can't pick that up. Ah, because... Uh, pick up there. And here is where we're going to build our screw base. And it's... I'm thinking that it's gonna be a... squat little structure with... one side being a little bit higher where we'll have all the storage. So yeah, that's the plan. So let's start laying out some base foundations or actually... Let's start tearing up some of this stuff. We need to get a uh, uh, what's it called? Personal storage box. Stick a few things in there so we can clear out all of uh, the uh, trees and crap that we don't want. So let's just do that. And give ourselves some space to work with. And let's see, do I have the. Yes, I do. Drinks all. Alright. Let's clear these trees out. They're the worst. The bushes are not that bad. And again, uh, so these only need ore. Uh, they won't need rods, which is useful for us. Because then they don't need to go back to the, uh, the central hub to pick up rods. They can just go to the or or the uh, iron smelting area and pick up uh, iron ingots there and that will be it we don't need rods for anything over here which i'm quite happy about okay so let's uh, lay down some foundations of the nature has to go so I'm thinking actually that might be interesting yeah uh, okay I have an idea so we are going to build it a little bit up so that we can get trucks to go under it if they need to. So I think we need to go up one higher. Oops. 
and build up here. Like so. And that tree needs to go. There we go. Group of trees. Alright. Um, put that there. And that's gonna be the height. Actually, we can leave that. So now we can get trucks under the base and make it quite a bit wider I think well where did you come from that leaves that. okay leave me alone so I can work Lost. We actually have some, uh, what do we have here? Iron ore. So we're going to need to have trucks coming in to pick that up. So that could go underneath, maybe. So this is the width that we're going to have because we can't really make it any wider. So there. Pretty wide. Okay. Now let's see. We're gonna need a crap ton of screws. Um, uh, so, how wide is this thing? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. 10, 11, 12, 13, 17. Okay, 17. So we need 10 wide for the trucks. One, two, three, five, six, nine, ten. There. And stick a wall in there just as a marker. And then we'll do two wide for storage. And the rest is for production. So I hope that'll work. Should we do three wides for storage? Maybe we should do three wide. I think we should do three wide. So, okay, so then we just need to lay down a ton of foundation here and build it up. So I am going to go ahead and get a ton of foundation uh, built and then I'll be right back See you in a second guys. Okay, so we are back and this is what it's going to look like. So let me just give you a quick tour. We have the, our production area in here and that is probably going to be more than one floor, right? Because we need a lot of, that's a little bit annoying, a lot of uh, screws. We have storage area in here and we have loading and unloading dock here and we have the ramps that'll be there so yeah that is what it's gonna look like and I have gotten ready to build a couple of truck stations so let's go ahead and do that and I need a little bit of space in for a uh, belt. Build it there. Uh, 
Oh, that's too far out. Let's try that again. Let's try there. That'll do. That will do. And then we need another truck station over here. Which I want to line up. that I think. Is that right? Yes. Excellent. So we have our two truck stations set up here. Let's get some uh, containers. Just a couple. So we will have... Should we do... Input on one floor and output on another might be an idea. And what we could do actually is put output of screws in one end and input of ingots on the other. That might be an idea too. I think we're going to do that. And we can fit two storage containers, I'm thinking. So let's output the... Screws there. That won't fit. Can't we get that to fit and go? That would be very nice. That. We like that. We can pull this one back then. I think. Like that. Can we then get a uh, let's get Mark twos? Was there? Excellent. And will they go into these? That is the question. I doubt it. No. It needs to be single walls, so let's just uh, build one of those. And two, come on, go in there. Oh. That means that we need to move these a bit, because then we can build them in the middle. That's okay. So, walls, single. There. And that one is the wrong way, of course. Figures. There's like that. Uh, organization storage container. Turn around. There. There. Logistics, Convertible Mark 2. Hope that too. Please. Pretty please. Can't do it. It won't go. Will this go? That will go. Why won't this go? There we go. Much better. And then it's just this one in here. Outstanding. So we'll have a bunch of those. Going. I guess we'll have well, quite a few. Alright, and we need the same setup for the input of What's it called? Iron ingots. 
I always forget that word. I don't know why. Iron ingots. So we need to clock down a couple of containers here as well. Turn them around. It's it's there. And there. And logistics. That is really annoying. Come on. Okay, let's just stick uh, this on uh, seven now because we don't need it. Good. All right. So we will have output of the uh, ingots here and input of or output of yeah ingots from this one, and then we will have. The screws come going out here, so this will be loading. Yeah, excellent. And that'll do that. So let's see, can we build some? Are they constructors? Yes, we can. So how can we build these? gonna be a bit of a weird setup that's okay doesn't that all have to be exactly the same right Two, three. and we can get I think a belt hopefully come around here yes and splitter 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 logistics Let's do uh, let's do splitters on seven, mergers on eight, and mark two belts on five. Hopefully that'll work. So we need some splitters here. Let's be as close as possible, I think. can come out here and go around. Very nice. And then we need let's just configure these. So we'll do the alternate screws. And they need what? 15 ingots a minute? Too bad, so let's see. And they produce 90 per minute, so five of these machines will fill up one full uh, Mark 4 belt. But we need thirty of them to take out one to to use one full Mark Four belt of ingots. 
We're gonna set up 30. For what? 30 seems like overkill. That would be what? That would be six full Mark IV belts of screws. We might actually need that much. We might actually need that much. Hmm. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, okay, over here we need mergers. As tight as possible. That does not line up with that, but that is because it's a uh, two, so now it does, right, more or less, more or less, I'm good with that, actually no I'm not, I thought I was, but I was, I'm not, I'm not. Because we might as well just move it out one, and then it will line up. And if we put two machines on the other side, Then we are producing 450 screws per minute once we get uh, muck fall belts. So let's just put the nice thing is again we only need one. Uh, one input and one output, so so we're not going to need to use a lot of space for this. Do I have enough belt? Enough in reinforced iron plate. So right here we will have an output of screws let's build that there there there. Oh, I need to replace that as well. There. And no. I want it to go from, it was just there. Right, so that's hooked up. Run over here and hook these machines up. So there it needs to be with some splitters. Actually, we just need one splitter. Here we can do it like that. Should we just do lines of five? 
Uh, I'm happy with this. There. And there. So that'll be one full Mach 4 belt going. Full speed, producing screws, send them in over this way. Then we just need to... This is unloading, right? Yes. So we need to unload. To... Over there. Right. Oh. My bad. It's this one that's unloading. What? No, it's not. It's this one. And that is the input, so the parts do like that. I'm actually okay with that. And then we are going to make some conveyor pole stackables here. There is the right place. Get this going out. Nope. Uh, maybe we can just get it going out at a 90 degree angle. And then get it going up. Will there be chopping here? Let's see. No, that's fine. Fine. And then we will get it going over this way. this go in a 90 degree turn that was one too far forward so just there that doesn't seem right no that's one too far back there that looks right yeah that's right and then I actually want to get this up quite a bit. Actually, like that. So that the trucks can go under. And then it's input. Don't know if we need to bring coal over here. I'm guessing we do. I'm guessing we do. Hmm. We'll see. So let's just put this down. I think it was there, wasn't it? On the scene. Oh, we can't see that. There's no seam there. Why they rotated? I'm pretty sure it's here. And then we need that to go in there. We need a thing, a conveyor pole. And we need it here, I think. Oops. Conveyor pole here. A 
feels confident, which is usually a mistake. quickly make some just to get this done and afford no 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 I'm told you. good reinforced iron plate what are we missing we're missing some screws let's make some screws we don't need that many reinforced iron plate ten would that be enough I think go outstanding so that is actually one full belt of output of um whoa gotta get used to jumping with these blade runners but they are so sweet so that is one full mark four belt output of screws set up except for the belts What we could actually do is just do my three belts for inputs. They can do 360. Yeah. Oh, 240. 240. And we only need 150. But we could do that. Or we could split the input from one into three. From one Mark IV build into three of these, and I think that's what we're going to do. It feels a little bit cleaner to do it like that. Okay, so basically now all we need is power and... Some trucks. So let's just set up some power poles. That. And that will not fit in there. Ah, uh, there. It will on the other side though. Let's build you here. And build you there. There. There, I'm not sure I need that one. Uh, but we built it anyway. So, go there. There. What? Then you can actually power that one. You power that. And that, which means we don't need this one. And so these are all powered now, right? Yeah. Then we just need this one, power that, and that, and it can carry the power chain on. So then we need there, there. This is going to be a problem. We're going to build a power pole on the other side here. The door. Ah. I'm going to have problems with this because the trucks will drive into the cables. I think. Maybe not, but it looks stupid to have them when we have this big portal. Um, I think it's going to have to go down. 
Hopefully this doesn't do some weird approaching endurance crap. I don't think it will. Yes, it will. Excellent. Then we need one over here. Somewhere like here. Right? No, somewhere like there. Hmm. Let's turn you out. We will build you here. This is again going to be a bit of a problem with the trucks, but it's better than what we had. I think that'll be fine actually. Uh, let's just go up and see if we can get a power pole up here gonna have to be here so we're running out of cable as well We have power, and we just need to run it back to somewhere else that has power. Let's do that. Mm. Where do we have some power? Oh, we have power over here, actually. Just run it up there. Maybe. Let's try it. Actually, we have power just down here. That's much easier. Uh, uh, we are out. Okay. Oh. Darn it. Oh, we have a crafting station here. I think, do I have some wire? I do have some wire. Outstanding. So let's just make some cable real quick. Go, go, go. Cable done. And wire. Down here. And over there. Okay. So, we have power there now. Then we just need, actually, we just need a truck to go get some um, iron ingots. And see if it works. What do we need to build a truck? Tractor. I think we can maybe do that. And so we have the beacons. We need 20 rotors and four modular frames. We need screws. But we can't do that from this. Unfortunately, um, you know what? I am going to quickly run back and grab some stuff, and then I'll be back in a second, guys. 
I, w I want to get this done so that we have everything going before the end of the episode. So hang on a second. It's going to be a bit of a long one. Okay, so we're back and we are recording a path here. For our tractor take and bring iron ingots over to the screw production area. So then this is actually the third time I tried to record the path uh, because the first two were spectacular failures. Which maybe I should have should have left into in the video, but maybe I'll leave them in. I don't know. They failed spectacularly, but we go up here together with the ones that go to the iron plate production, because I have built a little path here and. Then we can come over here. Oh, yeah, this is on load, right? Yes. And keep going. And then we need to go under and and come in again, which is a little bit me, but it is what it is. Maybe I should have made the path the other way around. That would actually have saved some. I'm okay with this. And Come up and pick up. Stop. Finish recording. Uh, any lot of pilot high path notes. Get out. And she go. Right. So that's that tractor done. And if we just quickly run back. Run, 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 run. Then we can probably... Uh, we can certainly catch the tractor. But since I failed a couple of times in making this path... I... Have actually... Already delivered some... Iron ingots, I think. Yes, I have, but we are not producing anything. Why not? Oh, no power. Um, why don't you have power? Hmm. Why don't you have power? Should have power. The power, power going there to there, there all the way back. And the ingots have been unloaded, so that has power, which means that this should have power as well. Oh, no, it shouldn't. There. Oh, it has power, but it's not getting any ingots because I forgot to stick this in. I... And actually, it needs to be Mark II built, which we don't have enough plates for.
but we will. Or does it need to be Mark Two? Well, no, it doesn't. It needs to be Mark One. Do we have the inputs for these guys? Nope. Let's get those going. That one has its input, but it's not configured. Neither is this one I get. And, but these three over here are... Yeah. Alright, so all five are going now. Making screws. Sending them out this way. Coming over. Well, going over this way. And sticking him in there. Okay, good. So that's done. And let's see, we were driving this way. So I wanna... Actually, we can't set up the other tractor yet because we don't have any coal. So that is going to be it for this episode, guys. But we have screws being produced and uh, all we need to do is set up the uh, central hub or storage of screws and then all will be good. <clears throat> so I will set that up in between episodes and set up the other tractor as well, I think, so that we can focus on getting the next products uh, on the production lines during the next episode. So, yeah. That's the way it's going to have to be. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and maybe subscribe. And I will see you next time.